a big misunderstanding, David, as, as it seems. The, 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 the training uh, session is actually ended by uh, this uh, time that's happening uh, on, on Wednesday uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, once the, the, the training was over, these uh, two specific officers, they were on patrol uh, along uh, this camp where this uh, training was happening. Let's remember this is an area in the Jordan Valley, not suffering a lot from terrorism, but suffering a lot from uh, criminal activity, thefts, and, and so on. Uh, these two officers around patrolling uh, the area, they spotted uh, what, what they thought was some kind of suspicious uh, movement. So they fired uh, to the air, uh, uh, to the direction of uh, that uh, suspicious uh, person to the air. That suspicious person, unfortunately, was an officer from the same unit who also thought he was spotting uh, terrorists or someone coming to harm. Therefore, he shot back, actually killing uh, these, uh, uh, these uh, two officers basically a crossfire, what is called a friendly uh, fire uh, between uh, two, uh, uh, three officers, in this case, the fire from the same uh, unit, one officer killing the other two, a tragic, tragic incident. Another thing to mention, David, this happening nine days after the previous tragedy in uh, the Israeli Defense Forces, that a helicopter uh, crash in the city of Haifa. Back then, also two pilots, two officers killed. So these two accidents in the space of less than 10 days, clearly a blow for the Israeli Defense Forces. Yeah, heavy losses there, of course. But on the nature of this activity, again, this commander unit wasn't deployed to a frontline area. This is during training. But can you comment on the nature of how IDF training carries inherent risks, uh, always carrying live ammunition? And basically, this is uh, extra dangerous for soldiers on the ground. Yes, and, and uh, the, the issue of uh, friendly fire always, uh, every accident of this kind is, is frustrating. But the fact that, that you know that this is an accident that could have been avoided with better communication, with, with better, better, better communication between these two, uh, these two elements from the same unit is very frustrating uh, for the IDF because this is basically an incident that could and should have been avoided. And, and, uh, uh, it is. It, it didn't happen. We're already hearing uh, comments this morning uh, from uh, Defense uh, Minister uh, Gantz coming on his uh, uh, Twitter account saying that the IDF is investigating this uh, this incident uh, to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Uh, because obviously it's very tragic. Every loss of life is, is, is tragic, whether it's on the battleground, whether it's on 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 training, such as uh, in this case specifically and especially um, frustrating this time is, is a, a friendly fire, one that, that could have been uh, avoided, but it didn't happen. And the tragic uh, outcome is that uh, two outstanding officers in an outstanding uh, unit of the IDF have been killed. Absolutely. Uh, Jonathan Riga, defense correspondent, thanks for breaking down the latest as far as we know in that incident.